Hey, what's going on, guys? Eat My Apples here, and today I've got some pretty interesting news for you guys. Uh, basically, what this video is about is the first screenshots of a Firefox OS for mobile devices. And basically, what this would be is it's kind of like a mix of Android and iOS, at least that's what I think it looks like. Um, and it'd basically just be a mobile operating system for uh, mobile devices. So, Tech Week's uh, Peter Judge, he. Uh, used this Firefox OS and he says it's everything that you expect from a smartphone OS including support for calls, text, calendar, and context. It also manages the camera and runs apps which sit on the screen in a normal grid of icons. So it's basically sounds like a pretty simple OS as of right now. They said they're looking to make it more based towards new smartphone users and uh, more of a low-end phones to mid mid uh, end phones so this won't be anything extremely high end at first but we could see some change uh, once it progresses so if we go ahead and take a look at some of the screenshots here we'll see the lock screen with all of the notifications that kinda reminds me of iOS with a little icon on the left and if we go ahead and take a look at the second screenshot we'll see all of the icons in the grid format which kinda reminds me of either the iOS springboard or the Android app menu when you go ahead and click the little grid menu on your Android springboard. And if we go ahead and take a look at this contact springboard, we'll see that you can obviously group your contacts into family and business and friends, stuff like that. You can see that right there as the contacts are grouped. And you can also have your contacts pictures, the pictures displayed next to their names, which is something that was not included in iOS. You can only see the contacts name, not their picture. And if we go ahead and take a look at the next picture here, you'll see just the contact editing menu. You'll see the person's picture across the top in a banner format along with all their numbers and email. And you can also add them to your favorite contacts list and remove them as well. And here is the email application. You'll see that the keyboard does look very sim similar to the iOS and Android keyboards. Uh, they have a lot of similarities, uh, not so many differences as well as the email, email uh, composing menu it does look a lot like iOS and now if we move on to the SMS screen you'll see that it does look uh, very similar to Android and iOS as well we've got the send button on the right as well as a uh, chat style IM format which is pretty much seen on most smartphones nowadays pretty much all of them so now if we scroll on down we'll see that the sharing menu for photos does remind me a lot of Android not so much iOS because iOS uh, at least not yet with the uh, release of iOS 6 coming out soon. It doesn't really have that many sharing options in the actual Photos application, but here this does remind me a lot of Android. So now if we take a look at this next picture, we'll see all of our photos are kind of in a grid format where you can look at a slideshow, select certain ones, and then just head back to the camera. So that, is look, that uh, does look like a good way to view your photos. So that is it for the screenshots that have been released, guys. Uh, Hopefully more information will come out on this sooner, and we'll see um, we'll see how many devices end up getting this. Uh, for a post with full information on the Firefox OS, just go ahead, check out the description. And that is it, guys. Thanks for watching.